Hello and welcome to this video on Honor from Nano Modules. So up front, I'd like to say this demo and tutorial video is sponsored by Nano Modules. Now, Honor is an 8 HP analog oscillator with an 8 octave switch fine tune that gives us plus or minus 7 semitones, a VCO and LFO mode, both linear and exponential responding FM with attenuator, Vopro octave pitch control, a hard sync input, pulse width modulation which without an input is manual on this mini pot and then that becomes an attenuator for any given input and this responds best to unipolar voltages so mixing offsets and modulation as we'll see later in the video gives you the best pulse width modulation results. We get the four classic and typical analog waveforms sine, triangle, saw and square pulse width modulatable pulse or square with two subs, a divide by two minus one octave sub, and a divide by four minus two octave sub. We've then got two additional complex waveforms, which are blends of triangles and squares, or saws and squares, and they do respond to pulse width modulation. There's lots of patch examples in this video, looking at syncing, pushing new shifting harmonic structures, nice classic PWM and just fat analog sounds. There's a timing index on screen, so you can skip around as you see fit. That's clickable as links in the description too. Without further ado, let's dive in. To start with, let's just have a quick listen to the raw sounds of this oscillator. Sine wave. Triangle. Saw wave. Square. Pulse width modulation. The first complex wave. Second complex wave. Sub one and sub two. So here's a patch looking at stacking both oscillators into a more complex modulated filter and VCA chain. A nice tip for patching to oscillators is to let one drone lower in pitch than the other, and then volt per octave sequence at the higher one. Switching up at the lower one's octave gives us some nice chord tones. So here we'll go looking and exploring for some soft musical FM tones. Rather than listening to a droning oscillator, we're listening to it through font, kind of acting like a low pass gate, closing off the sound with an envelope modulating it and I'm going to use the left hand sine wave to modulate the FM, exponential FM, on the right hand oscillator. You can instantly hear we get some nice softer musical tones with the attenuator down. With a 
a bit of weight and thickness and a more unique character than your standard waveforms. Oof, some really nice, deep, rich analog FM tones. So let's just enjoy these effects before I remove them and we walk through this patch. So again, this is FM with a couple of extra things going on. If I remove the sub, you can hear this oscillator being frequency modulated by the triangle wave on this one. They're both playing the same volt per octave pitch sequence and they're both going into alt the VCA with a simple envelope. It's a very simple sequence. And even just being very free with both fine and octave shifting of that tuning, there's a lot of interesting FM tones. An additional extra here is using the sub, which I'm accenting on the first two notes in the pattern. Bom, bom. Bom, bom. So I keep playing around with the tuning, effects back in. Some nice glassy FM too. So here's a lovely, big, rich, thick patch with the minus two octave subs that divide by four of the frequency, the minus one octave sub that divide by two of the frequency and the normal bass rate square wave. You could then take this stereo mix into filtering, effects, VCAs, treat the left and right signals differently, but I simply wanted to mix three octaves of square waves together Let's just knock the tuning out slightly. And some thinner pulses. It's just a big rich sound. I just wanted to mix that together and make sure the patch made its way into this video. So let's take these additional complex waveforms and make them more complex. Complexer. There's a word for you. Let's make these more complex. This is already a blend of a saw wave and a pulse width modulating square or pulse, but by taking the triangle and say pulse width modulating with it, I can get a different, again, more unique complex waveform. I'll take, say, a square wave sub. Let's try some linear frequency modulation. hear the tonal shift and see these waveforms kind of compress and expand. Now here we'll take a look at PWM, pulse width modulation. We're listening to the pulse wave on this left hand oscillator and modulating in LFO mode with the oscillator on the right. I'm coming through font, the filter, simply to tame that waveform down while I'm talking. We can manually control pulse width on this mini pot when we don't have an input. Its silence is out to the right with a 100% pulse width and goes to a really nice thin and nasal pulse all the way to the left. Plugging this into PW and I'll turn up the attenuator here. I can completely tailor my modulation, both the manual offset and then the amount of LFO.
things get even more interesting when we modulate at audio rates. Some really interesting, quite gnarly, full-on tones. Play around with my offset and modulation amount on Ma. So with these in tune, opening my filter and adding my audio rate modulator. Really interestingly kind of rips apart this pulse wave. There's some really big rich sounds. at Honor as an LFO and I'm mixing several waveforms from the right hand one together on Ma but they're there in data so we can see them individually. They're modulating a filter and VCA with a saw wave coming into them. So here's the first waveform, Green Trace and it's the complex wave. And there's a nice unique character to this one as we get that rise and kind of little decay envelope type ping or kink at the end of the waveform. Pulse width for just this complex waveform. Triangle wave. Blue trace. A two octave below sub. So that's the pink trace divided by four from the frequency, two octaves lower than the other waveforms. And that's going to be really handy when we come to mix these together to create new LFO modulations and wave shapes. And finally, yellow trace at the bottom, the saw wave. So the sub is really interesting as a modulator if we say take a triangle wave and then blend the sub in we kind of get two high triangle waves and two low triangle waves so mixing modulation is great more mixers more modulation more modular synthesis so here we're looking at AM synthesis by using ALT as VCAs to aid amplitude modulation between the oscillators. And AM synthesis is definitely one of my favourite forms of synthesis and I'll put a graphic on screen to explain the routing. If we did static modulation we could still get some great AM tones and changing waveforms Get some really ripping saws and nice waveforms. But being dynamic with our modulation. Is a way more interesting way to work with synthesis. So again, we're listening to the left hand oscillator. We're modulating its level with the right hand oscillator that's been modulated by an envelope. So here we're looking at oscillator sync. And the sync is a hard sync input that resets the waveform when it receives a rising edge, be it gates, or in this case, the square wave of another oscillator. So that forces this to sync to the tuning of this oscillator. Now varying this tuning, will give us a different tone and a shifting set of harmonics. All still focused around the tuning of our sinking source. And there's 
lots of interesting vocal-like tones, performance-style shifts in the harmonics that that gives us. Let's add an envelope to modulate the pitch of our oscillator. That's going to vary those tones over time while it's syncing to the other oscillator. <laughs> get that lovely kind of sing song of harmonics as the pitch falls so here's a patch that's sequenced with some extra modulation but again this is two oscillators hard syncing modulating the pitch of one of them to give us those sync sweeps I'm also taking the sub output from the syncing oscillator and audio rate modulating the filter. Slightly weirder, more wonderful. A bit more abstract waveforms. So that's it for this video on Honor. More module demos for nano modules linked in the description. Do check out the links and things down there. Hit like, subscribe, leave a comment, and you can join my growing and amazing community over at patreon.com forward slash divkid. And I'll see you next time. Cheers for watching. Bye.